Changing gears now on you, Congressman. You co-sponsored legislation with Congresswoman Alma Adams called Supporting Diverse Entrepreneurs Act. Can you tell us a little bit more about that act and what you hope to accomplish? Yeah, you know, and, and this actually kind of ties into Vice President Harris. When I first got elected to Congress, you know, I told her one of my big priorities was making sure that communities of color have access to capital. The facts don't lie, and, and communities of color have a much harder time getting a loan. So uh, she said, hey, Wiley, I'm all in. We hopped on Air Force Two. She came to my congressional district back in January of last year to talk about these issues. And so this bill that I have with, with Congresswoman Alma Adams is an extension of, of that conversation we started with Vice President Harris in, in downtown Raleigh. Um, it would allow for um, more funding for minority business development agency business centers near historically black colleges and universities. So those are our HBCUs, Shaw, St. Aug, um, and it would allow you know young entrepreneurs to get more access to those resources to you know help start a business, get a loan, do all those kind of things. Um, a, a great uh, a great way to to make sure that, that we're getting those great investments for our community. How do you get this legislation through Congress, Congressman? You know, just like anything, you got to, you got to, you know, get, get your bill through committee and uh, get it onto the floor. It, you know, we're, we're unfortunately uh, back home this week. Mm-hmm. We were supposed to be in Congress, but uh, my Republican colleagues couldn't, you know, get their, their own members to vote for their own budget bill. So they sent us home a week early. Um, but we still got more legislative days, and, and I'm actually pretty hopeful that uh, the lame duck session in November and December is going to be really productive. 